I've added things to my apartment since the last time that I've shown around, basically. Uh, you would have seen the green mat that I've put outside um, on the balcony. The balcony is still like a work in progress because I want to go s slowly about what I want to put on the balcony, but I kind of have what I I have an idea of what I want to do on it. So I have the mat outside. It's been like windy so much that <laughs> it's folded up, and so yeah, got that. And the mat was twenty dollars. I think I got it to with Simon's. At the same time to Simon's, I got a bath mat that was like five dollars again, just like a green one. Because it's simple, but it works. And for five dollars, I mean, it does the job. It doesn't need to be super pretty. It's a bath mat, whatever. <laughs> the other thing, if you didn't know, my couch was recycled. Someone was getting rid of it and they left it on the side of the street and I picked it up, washed it, cleaned it and my couch basically cost me nothing. For like the past, I want to say the past two or three months, I've been like annoying to get a coffee table. As you would know, I have the white table which is like right behind me there, this one. But the table doesn't belong to me, it belongs to my landlord and I, we never eat at a table for the, for as long as I remember, we are both, we like to eat at the ta at a coffee table in front of a movie or a TV show or something and I created a makeshift table in my last apartment with basically that plank, that plank there, which is from Ikea. It's basically just a shelf that you can put on the wall and I had it stacked on boxes because the situation in which I was in, that was like no reason for us to like buy new and good furniture because of all the... Marco, thank you. Because of all the problems we had with our last apartment, that was like no actual reason for us to like buy good furniture. We knew we were getting out of there like as soon as we could and so I've kind of been living without a proper coffee table ever since we moved here. So I was looking multiple multiple different things and one night when I was walking home I saw again on the side of the street someone that left a good solid like coffee table that I believe is a Ikea one that I think brand new would be 300? We both threw it away because the top of the table is like highly damaged but the bottom of it is like super good. Either we're gonna stain the top or we're gonna paint the top. Now we're not sure exactly what we're gonna do but the bottom part of it like everything looks clean good and it's just like paints and stuff. Let me just, let me show you the table. Why not? It would be, I would say that it's big table, coffee table, but like I said, I eat on this, so. And then there's even like little cubicles at the bottom, which provides like extra storage. And what I mean by it's like damaged is that's the normal tone of the wood. And then this is like what's currently it. And there's like splash of splashes of like um, caulk for the drywall on it, and it's just like scratches here. It's the kind of thing where you just like send it down, put a new, either new finish on it, or like I said, you just like paint the top, and everything works fine. There's just like no reason to completely throw it away. Or even if like we absolutely wanted to, we could just like remove the top and just change it completely. Um, there's multiple different things that we were looking for. Coffee table, I think the main things were a large area and some storage. So, yeah. Why don't we utilize the space on the coffee table and I'm gonna fold the laundry. <laughs> it's 
boring but it's things that I have to do um, I want to do the laundry and I want to empty the dishes because I have to do it and I have already taken the initiative today to order the new litter for the cats because I need to change that and I think it's supposed to arrive tomorrow so I might do that tomorrow too um, I ordered litter a week and a half ago I think and halfway through delivery they said oh I'm sorry we're gonna have to just cancel it halfway through delivery they would they just canceled it and they were like well you're gonna have your money back for like three to five days and I was like okay at least I had like a little bit left so I was able to do it but hopefully they don't cancel this time because I really need it so let me pop you somewhere else than on the coffee table and I'm gonna time lapse this I have uh, this bag of dry clothes to do fold and put away By the way, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to like the uh, everyone that's subscribed. Like every time I keep saying this, every video, like thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah, I know. We thank you to the people. Yeah. We say thank you. Thank you to everyone. As I was posting last week's video, I was just hitting the 200 subscriber mark and I'm at like 213 as I like what I vlogged this morning and my past month, the videos of the past month I have to say, 
it has been crazy. My brain can't comprehend how 500 people have seen last week's video in like less than a week. And the week before that, it's like 300 people. And then the week before that is like another 300 people, which is like, it sounds crazy in my head. But it's like for years and to have like four videos in a row performing that good. At this point, I'm not even like if only 10, 20 maybe people see this one, it makes my heart happy. I posted last week's video, my let's talk just, I posted it kind of scared as to what the reception would be because I've never opened up that much before. And to know that it was received so well feels amazing. And it's, I have to say validating in a way. And I just like love to, hmm, I love to talk to camera. It's kind of my safe space and yeah. I tend to love to just like over talk and over share on camera. Michael, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You you fucking up everything. I go sit this. Put your paws off the camera, please. Thank you. It's 28. 28 degrees outside right now. And I'm realizing that this is going to be so fun to edit. <laughs> I'm currently editing exactly what you're watching and I cut the whole clip out basically I filmed 25 minutes I'm just gonna leave you with the next clip which explains exactly what I tried to say 25 minutes basically Whee! I'm in a place where I know I can totally be myself without being judged and it feel wonderful that's basically what I've been trying to say it just feels so good and so great to know that I can be safe and that I can be myself and express myself and that I'm not going to be affected by other people's emotions and other people in general. I've been more mindful and careful as to what I've been watching. I'm getting so excited. And that's not something I would get excited about before, but I've been more careful as to what I've been watching recently. And I think with with becoming a better version of myself, as much as it sounds cringe and weird, I used to watch like, you know, like drama and like entertainment. And don't get me wrong, I still do the watch those things, but I think I've been more careful as to what I've been watching. And I think it's made a big, 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 big difference. I can definitely see the growth that I've had in the past month because I've been getting more excited to know more about finances. And I, it's something that I've been told that I need to do, like invest, you need to invest, you need to like get a house or you need to um, just like finance stuff in general. And I've been like, yeah, yeah, like whatever, like brushing it off and never actually doing it. And now I'm realizing that by myself, I've been excited to look into maybe starting to invest in something or buy a property and get into the real estate market or something. And it's not things that like I would get excited about before. And I've been more and more wanting to know how to live more mindfully. And I've been decluttering so much more physically, mentally, emotionally, and it feels so fucking good. I don't want to turn my channel into, and by the way, I hate the word channel. I think it's just, it makes no sense, but 
I think with what I with the content I'm creating I don't want it to be like super like oh, deep thoughts let's let's get like so heavy and like curated and things but I think like I said before I think I just want to share whatever I'm going through whatever phase I think I just want to share and it feels really good like saying all those things and I know I haven't been looking through the camera lens for once um, but I'm getting better and it feels very good I feel a lot more light-hearted and I don't feel as heavy and I'm talking about like my mind is making me is making my body feels heavier or lighter i'm not talking about like literally being heavier or lighter but we're gonna keep it at this there's not a lot of light now there was a lot of light and now there's no light anymore Breathe in positivity, breathe out what is unnecessary. Quote by me. <laughs>